guys, welcome to week 21 of the Confidence Revolution. This week I want to talk about Daring Greatly, a book written by Brene Brown. She is a goddess. She is amazing. She wrote The Gifts of Imperfection, Daring Greatly, Rising Strong. I have not had a chance to read Rising Strong yet, but I will read it and bring you notes. How about that? Okay, so I want to talk about courage and vulnerability and how that has transformed my life. So I started reading this book while Wapo and I were dating and I had built up a lot of armor around me and not armor in the way that I talked about a few videos ago, but more like emotional armor, like a brick wall, like nobody is getting past this brick wall. I had been in relationships before, been heartbroken, excuse me while I turn off my phone. And so I had... It had taken me so long to recover from past heartbreaks that I was like, never again. I am never going to be heartbroken again, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. The problem with that is that the more you guard your heart, you don't experience pain, but you also don't experience as much joy. It sucked. I was not feeling things as richly or as deeply because I had all this armor up. I always envisioned, envisioned myself like in the Batmobile and like covering all up. Nobody was getting in. But the problem was that nobody was getting in. Right? So this book really helped me come to terms with the fact that I was going to have to step out on a limb if I was going to receive something great, which was a deep, rich connection with somebody else, with Wapo. So let me read a little portion of you of this to you. Merriam-Webster Dictionary uh, defines vulnerability as, oh, it's derived from the Latin word vulnerare, meaning to wound. The definition includes capable of being wounded and open to attack or damage. So by definition, if you're vulnerable, you're open to attack or damage, but you're also open to all these other great things. It creates much deeper relationships. It creates a love that is palpable. When you're so connected with somebody because you've opened up to them because they have seen the real you, right? We all have the us. Okay, raise your hand if you act a certain way if you're alone in the house versus if you act a certain way if someone else is in the house with you. Anybody? <laughs> right? Sometimes we eat the weirdest things. Just weird old combinations of food when we're alone, but we're, when we're with somebody, we feel like we need to have a vegetable and a piece of meat and a piece of potato, right? But when we're alone, we eat like Cheerios standing up, maybe a little of this, maybe a little of that, maybe a beer after. It's like when we're alone, we're ourselves. How many people have seen the real you, right? The goal is to be fully seen because you're lovable. And once you're fully seen, you really feel, gosh, um, I, wanna, I wanna use the word magical. It feels really good for the alone you, for somebody else to know the alone you. All right. So you're like, that's great, but I don't need a new husband. I don't need a new wife. I'm fine. Okay. But could your relationship be a little richer? Could you uh, strengthen it a little bit? Could you maybe be more honest with your girlfriend? Could you maybe be more honest with your mom? Right? About who you are, your hopes, your dreams, your fears. So this is how you do it. You start and you take tiny little steps. So in December last year, I was really feeling not so good. I really have a lot of social anxiety and I, I, I had a hard time going out in public and meeting new people, moms, groups, playgrounds, things like that. I really, it was not good. Um, I was very, very, I was in a very shy place for some reason and not just shy, almost scared, but I just started forcing myself to walk up to somebody and say, hi, I'm new to the neighborhood. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm a new blogger here. Nice to meet you. And I just, I just started inching. However much I sweat and embarrassing it was in the moment, I really tried just to stretch a little and a little more and a little more. 
and all of a sudden something just crazy happened. It went from me needing comfort and love and security to being able to give it. I was, I had enough to give. I didn't need the help. I could go offer some um, connection to someone else. I was less afraid of connecting and more, more focused on helping others connect. Does that make sense? So I'll give you a tiny example of my big courageous journey. The other day I was driving in the neighborhood and there is a lady who I see walking every day and she walks almost all day alone. She works out. And I thought, I've never seen her walking with anybody and I thought, I'm gonna be her friend. I wanna offer some friendship to her. I wanna offer some kindness to her. And I have always wanted to do it. And so the other day I pulled the car over, I did a U-turn, I got out of my car, I walked her on the sidewalk and I said, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> I said, I know this is weird, I'm not dangerous. <laughs> my name is Katya and I wanna be your friend and I wanna welcome you to dinner whenever, whenever you want. We live, blah, blah, blah. And I pointed her to our house. She was like, hi, nice to meet you. She told me her name, she was delightful. I made a connection, she made a connection. And at the very least, if she doesn't come over for dinner, we'll wave to each other. She'll know, like, I care about her, right? Isn't that what it's all about? So that is something so strange and weird and um, that I wouldn't have done in December. I wouldn't have had enough to give, but I practiced. And all of a sudden, I could send it outward. And sending it outward feels so good. Vulnerability begets vulnerability. Courage begets courage. If you're vulnerable and courageous at work with your girlfriends, with your husband, with your mom, with your dad, they will pick up on that. Um, honoring your life is the gift that keeps on giving because it has a ripple effect on those around you. So go out there, be brave with your life, even in the tiniest little ways, it makes, it makes all the difference. May God's grace and peace be with you. I'll see you next week.